so welcome back to my channel once more time so today i'm going to discuss about c sharp and some basic idea i'd like to give in this tutorial so let's get started so we can how we can get c sharp so as you just go to w3 school and go to the tutorials you'll see the programming like here I have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, server side, data analytics. Okay, so in the programming, we can see the C sharp, I mean C hash. <coughs> so, okay, so what it says C hash means C sharp is a programming language developed by Microsoft that runs on the .NET framework. Like dot net yep okay so start learning c sharp now so how we can type a c sharp code like every programming language has different overlook to type when we are executing any kind of irons like in c in c plus plus in javascript javascript basically a scripted language so for many people say it's a programming language but okay so and python also have a difference but in c sharp it's kind of complicated i guess so far because if you if i compare c sharp with python there's a lots of difference so we're not moving about python or discuss about python in this tutorial so let's get let's concentrate on this tutorial let's go so here's an example I have given for us i should okay so using system and you have to be careful about case sensitive because c sharp is totally case sensitive you can see i'll let you know what kind of problems you'll get like in the first line if you type s as a small letter it will shows an error to you so just be careful while typing the uh, variables strings um, data type all kind of thing class program all the things so here we have to uh, just type using system then have to complete with the semicolon then name is pass hello so basically in most of the code editor you don't need to use this one like if I talk about repel it let's wait for a while so okay I'm gonna pause this okay so we have came to the ripple it just go to create any items okay i already have an item maybe okay for this video purpose i should make another one c sharp time on two So here it shows us a default um, C sharp code, which is how it look like. Like C, using namespace. Sorry, name system. Using system, I'm just reading namespace because it comes from C plus plus. So in C sharp, we don't need to use namespace. So using system, then we have to define a class, a program. So here, program should be with capital later then a uh, curly braces then we can type we have to type public static void main string arguments this called arguments but what if if we don't use these things in public let's run it so we're running this code on a repel it it's a cloud so you can see the cpu leaks close to distance it's not about that my computer my laptop cpus is about to their websites because, okay so as you can see it says to dot net is microsoft that runs on dot net framework here you can see the dot net run okay so what if if we don't use public we don't need to use public all the time and this stuff it's not necessary to use exactly so let's wait for a while 
So we have printed hello world. So what we can do like in a programming language. This is the basic demo of C sharp. It's a default. You have to write all these lines and whatever you can do inside here like printing any kind of thing. So console dot write line then a uh, parenthesis then type high okay and a semicolon your program is round two ready to execute so let's move on here so as you can see here they said to uh, type static and there is no public okay static void main string arguments we don't need to use this one so and says to try itself okay we already tried in here so no need more click on run example okay so the test exercise with ac test yourself with exercises it says insert the missing part of code below to output hello world so there have some missing what is that like we did just here let's see it shows static void string argument maybe the missing is main and make sure m is uh, with capitalized and it says to print this line okay output hello world so how we can print like in c c programming c plus plus we have in c programming we used we are using we use basically what print and for taking a value from the user what we type scanf and for printing printf in c plus plus we use c in and c output like c out and python what you do we type print then our item just look like like here just print like this print that's it and for taking a variable from taking an items values from user we have to type input in python and in c sharp for printing this line we have to type console to see c is capital and write l is capital let me show you why okay you're going to submit it and it will say it's correct uh -uh. it's a server problems I guess it's not submitting show the answer yeah okay it's not working okay so as you can see right is capital L is capital Y right it's basically it follows Pascal case what is Pascal case let me show you Pascal camel okay here it shows so pascal camel so in this picture it mentioned what is camel case and pascal case and snake case like when we are printing when we're typing right line so right is a word line is another word we are typing it together so every readable word sh should start with the capital letter as you can see here in Pascal case P is capital Pascal is a word individual word case is another individual word so both words should be start with capital letter got it and the camel why its name with camel camel look like a camel they have something in their back as you can see my mouse pointer so camel it can start with small later and in the middle of any word you can change like for readables just for beautify your code it's not necessary but you can do for beautifying your code so anyone can read it very well so camel case c is uh, another word here so c is start with a capital letter and snake snake is just typing in a small letter and when we are adding new another word just make an hyphen underscore sorry it's an underscore so snack underscore case here also shows so let's move on and for typing class it's ca it 
uh, works as a Pascal P. Okay, so we have done this, so it's not showing the answer that we have submitted rightly. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so start the exercise now. What do we have more? Okay, so we have completed the first intro. Uh, C sharp home now we are going to C sharp intro so it says here what is C sharp C sharp is pronounced okay C hash is pronounced C sharp it is an object oriented programming language created by Microsoft that runs on the .NET framework C, ha C sharp has roots from the C family the language is close to other pip popular language like C++ and Java the first version was released in 2002. Oh my goodness, my birthday is actually exactly 2002. Okay, the latest version. So when I born, I came to the Earth. C sharp also came. Okay, so the latest version is C sharp 8. Was released in September 2019. C sharp is used for. So why we are going to learn C sharp? What we can do after learning C sharp, we can learn, we can do mobile application, we can build desktop application, web application, web service, websites, games, VR, virtual reality, database application, and much, much more. Something is missing, maybe machine learning automation. Where is that? Okay, let's see. Why use C sharp? So before learning, if you are learning for the first time, you should know something about it. So why you are learning this individual programming language instead of there's a lots of programming language like popular, popular programming language 2022. Okay, it says the first one is Python. As you know, I'm learning Python. Then have JavaScript. Python and Java is one of the most popular language in the world currently at the moment. Then we have C++. So I think C sharp is missing. My goodness. It doesn't matter. Let's get started. OK, why use C sharp? It is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Haha. <laughs> it's a funny one. They're just kidding with us. It's not really. It is easy to learn and simple to use. It's also kidding. It's not possible that easy to learn and use, simple to use. It's not an easy. Like when we are going to take a variable from the user, you'll see how complicated it is to take a variable. You have to take an item, like a number. So this program will recognize it as a string. Also, you have to convert it to integer. So then program will recognize it as a number. So this is not really use easy. It is. It has a huge community support. Okay, community, I'm going to use British English in this tutorial. C Sharp is an object-oriented language which gives, I'm sorry about the background music, you know, so the time, 1.50 a.m. at midnight, but still there's lots of sounds outside of my places. What can I do else? So that's why I'm just using a background music. You can see more from the desktop which is a titanic instrumental music if you like titanic the movie or the song just let me know in the comment section because i'm a huge fan of titanic so let's get started finally we just came up to wasting 13 minutes c sharp ide the easiest way to get started C Sharp to use an IDE integrated development environment. So if you don't know what does IDE mean, but you're, you're hearing all the time at your university, in classes, with friends, anywhere. So IDE is called integrated development environment. Got it. So C Sharp install. One of the biggest expensive, not expensive, you don't need to pay anything expensive why it takes a long storage from your computer around uh, 12 GB I heard I didn't install it from the Microsoft as you can see Visual Studio Community 2019 the last um, software which is released in 2019 you can do any kind of like as they talk about in the intro that you can use mobile application or application all the item all the project can be completed from this uh, software 
that's why it's a huge storage takes huge storage like uh, 12 GB I'm not gonna use it I have Visual Studio code so we have to just use this extension but you are not capable to do all the project from Visual Studio code okay it shows lots of items so if you're going to install I don't think so I don't think so I should skip it okay here's the Visual Studio code and this is Visual Studio. So Visual Studio and is it Visual Studio? Yeah, Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code is different. Make sure that both are different. If you're using, it, you are familiar with this interface. Okay. So here I have one on. So what the extension while you are typing C sharp and save it in your computer in your computer, just type not c hash it's c as like s for shop c sharp so using system namespace hello world it's not necessary so if it's not necessary then this curly braces is also not necessary okay so forget this and this so class program static void main okay we are painting this line no worries and start the same line okay let's go to the syntax C sharp syntax in this previous chapter we created a C sharp file called program.cs and we used the following code to print hello world to the screen. So in this file what we've done using system class program static void main string argument console right line hello world. So we can find the hello world. Your example explained using system means that why can you use classes from the system namespace line to a break line okay now it's defining what i've done so here is a break line okay it says the line one this is the line one it says using system means that we can use classes from the system namespace line to a, a blank line c sharp ignores white space however multiple lines makes the code more readable just for beautifying your code you can do this kind of stuff or you can do like um, I don't, it's not a problem so if you do if you gather all the things together what if nothing will happen you're still using this code but yeah when you're using if is condition for the while do while then you have to maintain the tab otherwise it's not so let's see whether it's run or not so I think it will show us hello world so it doesn't matter so the third line namespace used to organize your code and a container for classes and other namespaces the curly braces so what's the name of it it's called curly braces and what is called it's called score braces score braces this is curly braces and this is parenthesis okay in programming language or whatever anywhere you can say so class in line 5 class is a container for data and methods which brings functionality to your program every line of code that runs in C sharp must be inside the class in our example we name the class program don't worry if you don't understand how using system name experience and class works just think of as of it as something that almost always appears in your program and that will learn e more about them in a later chapter okay you don't need to waste your time so insert okay what it shows so we've done it before oh we don't need to do that Summed it. So we're we've done syntax. Let's go to C sharp output. 
So C sharp output, two output values or print text in C sharp, you can use the right line method. Okay. Console right line hello world, then it will show us hello world. You can add as many right line methods. So there's a difference. What is right line and what is right individual? So I'm gonna show it in repel it, though it will take time. Giving a tab. No, it's okay. So when we're printing this line, it will so hello world, then a new line. Line means here new line. I am learning C sharp. The next line, it will show it is awesome, right? So let's see. Mm. Okay, so you can see hello world. I'm learning C sharp. It is awesome, right? So what if we remove line from this? It won't show error because for console for printing in items we have two way to print out the values which is console dot right and right line so right line shows a new line and if you type right now it will show us like hello world then I'm okay hello world since it it has a light right line so hello world the next line will show I'm learning C sharp so this line has got no line so it will show us it is awesome together after C sharp let's see so now as you can see here hello world I'm learning C sharp and without any new line it shows it is awesome that's the difference we don't try we don't need to try now it shows a performing you can also okay also output number and for mathematical calculations let's try it from here let's run it six okay what if we three minus three you need to use space doesn't matter it doesn't care I don't care about it it shows zero so one more thing like you want to type something like total value is zero how you can do that this is kind of different what you all you have to do just giving a quotation then type your string so it will recognize the string uh, like total value is then what do you do using comma I don't think it will work if it work then it's fine but basically in C sharp okay it not shows us the value because we have to use a plus sign now you'll see another mistakes what is that uh oh okay it will not work like this we have to use in we have to take integer number echo three then number two equal five then okay no need to make complete total so subtraction okay number minus number two right and don't forget this is not the Python. Okay. So how we can see the value? Let's type sub. Right? Let's run it. Another error. Oh, the problem is we didn't mention it. It's a uh, integer. What it will show us now? okay now it shows total value is minus two what wait a minute where is the space here you have to use space here or you can do like a, here is a space then to connect these two quotation use a plus sign 
now we can write right I can see this best okay I will talk about it later if necessary so another example uh, or there is also a right method which is similar to right line the only difference is that it does not insert a new line at the end of the output let's open it up hello world I'll print on the same line okay without any space so let's go for the next I've done comment giving comment so backslash this is very common I don't think it should necessarily so for multiple line okay let's see an overview single line comment so for the single line comment you can use this backslash to backslash and for multiple lines you can use backslash star asterisk so what's the name of it it's not star don't say it's star say asterisks asterisk okay so backslash asterisk and ends with asterisk backslash so you can see it's multiple line you can type for like in the description brief description about what we are going to do that's it now you are going to okay there's an example <coughs> okay this is a single line comment right and this is a multi-line comment so though we don't have a multi-line which is to do submit go for the next and it's submitted correct right <coughs> oh that's interesting variables c sharp variables variables are containers for storing data values in c sharp there are different types of variables defined with different keywords for example integer stores integers whole numbers without decimals such as one two three or minus one two three double the ball storage floating point numbers with decimals such as 19.99 or minus 19.99 this is called character okay character storage single characters such as a or capital B character values are surrounded by single quotes string storage text such as hello world string values are surrounded by double quotation okay double quotes and bool only have true or false okay storage values with two states true or false declaring creating variables to create a variable you must specify the type and assign it a value to create a variable you must specify okay syntax so we have type variable name value so type what kind what type of things you're going to take whether it is integer it can be double it can be character string bool, and the variable name we have to define a name then we can insert the value on this variable and we can call that va variable of, uh, while we're going to print the item so well type is a C sharp type such as integer or string and variable name is the name of variable such as X or name the equal sign is used to assign values to the variable to create a variable that sounds that should still text text look at following example so in this example create a variable called name of type string and assign it in a value john so we took our type a string string name and in this name we have a name that's john so john is a string right because it sh says text such as hello world is a string now we are printing this line let's see Alright, that says it should be my name. Let's run it once more time.
So it shows job 8. Okay. To create a variable that should store a number, look at the following example. Create a variable name my number. What's the case of it? Can you remember as I said earlier? It's a camel case. Right? Of type integer and design it the value 15. So integer my number equal to 15. Now we can print 15. You can also declare a variable without assigning the value and assign the value later. Okay. This is a single line variable taking like we in this line we have type we have a variable name we have values and here we are using without assigning the value in the same line okay so firstly we took our type and variable then in variable we assigned a value then we print my number both are just same so note that if you are assigning, if you assign a new, I'm so sorry, a new value to existing variable, it will override the previous value. Example, change the value of my number to 20. So, okay. Like program is executed line by line so in the first line we took integer my number 15 so in the same variable now we assign 20 so the first line it was 50 since 15 since it uh, executed it line by line so before right line printing my number it can see my number is the integer type and the value is 20 so it will print 20 20 constant however you can add the cons key keyword of you don't want other yourself also something is missing that is we can use bar you can use var so var can define if you d if you don't know whether it is a string like a number like my id is 120 CSC 0002 at my university so do you know is it a integer or a string or what integer and string together you are confused so basically it should be a string not integer plus string but what it can do if you are not if you're confused so you can type bar like how how is var 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 or var so in my accent now I should say it is a var. R is silent. Okay. So constant is done. Okay, here I have something. My integer five uh, double my double num equal five point nine nine D double defined character my letter D boolean my both true or false so here true we start with small t and false start with small f but in python it is started with capital t and capital f string my text hello okay display variables the right line method is often used to type display variable values to the console when the combine both text and vari uh, text and the variable use the char plus character example string name john okay okay so this is the one i've been talking to you the string name john so it's a john and now we are so john is a string and we are trying to type something for this code so how we can do it do it so to get a space we have to mention the space here so hello space plus the name so it shows hello john if we go for so lots of tabs my goodness my computer will crash i don't know 
let me see the device manager is this come from no it's not from device manager task manager it's already working slowly my goodness task manager let's see uh, what about my CPU because the time I'm using screen recording with 180p and lots of tabs Firefox oh my gosh 15% not much so memory lots of memories like 3 GB what available out of 6 GB oh my goodness let's see now CR now to a constant release yep it is supposed to release all the at least one to two GB okay doesn't matter so I've done this and now another thing is string first name John last name Doi John Doi full name first name plus last name so we can print all the item together Java I'm not gonna print his name first name last name the full name so how it executed we are we are printing the full name so full name have full name has first name plus last name together so with the plus operator so the first name is defined as a string in the first name the first name has Javed so here I have a space for get this space doesn't mean this plus operator can show any space just make it together okay so java then we have a space then the last name the last name defined as name of khan so java khan okay for numeric values the plus character works as a mathematical operator okay now here this is not the mathematical term but in the number when you're printing number like in our variable we have integer value here was had string now we have integer value so integer x equal 5 y equal cx then console right line x plus y equal 11 and asterisk that means multiplying x multiplying y is 30 okay it's 30 now it shows let's go again for the example above you can expect x stores the value 5 y stores the value 6 then we use the right line method to display the value um, of x plus y which is 11 declare many variables to declare more than one variable of the same type use a comma separated list integer x equal 5 y equal 6 z equal 15 so multiple items which okay so what it says same type the same type values but what if we use a float it will not work like all the item is integer right now we are using 15 point nine this is not an integer value this is a float let's see it will show an arrow i guess yeah yes so we can simply type double l a double so every double can be an integer value but every integer can't be a double six can be a double if we use zero zero doesn't matter now it will show us the exact value what is that 61.9 right okay this is very very basic 
very basic of programming language. But some purpose, I don't know why, I'm just making this tutorial. So now the same thing is happening. Firstly, we defined. Oh my goodness. The first of all, we defined integer x, y, z, then x equal y equal z equal 15. So here all the item is 15. Like x is 15, y is 15, z is 15 since x equal y. That means x and y is equal. y and z is equal. That means these two items is equal to x and these three items is equal to 15. So we'll get 150, right? Let's see. 150. C hash identifiers. All C sharp variables must be identified with unique names. This So C sharp identifiers. All C sharp variables must be identified with unique names. This unique name is called identifiers. Identifiers can be short names like X and Y or more descriptive names. Age, sum, total value, camel case. Sorry, total volume. I didn't notice. That's my bad. Not it is recommended to use descriptive names in order okay descriptive names in order to create understandable and maintainable code so example integer minute per hour camel case equals 60 it says good and it says okay but not to say not so easy to understand what m is actually is so for a readable this readable identifiers can identify what you are taking. It's like interval minutes per hour is 16. Okay, so it doesn't make sense. Okay, see so exercise. It says create a create a variable named my name and assign value 50 to it. Variable 50. So 50 is a string, right? Integer. My number. So what up next? Now we are going to data type. I will go until user input. Then I will stop for this tutorial for today's purpose. So let's see. Okay, we have more exercise. Let's see. It's taking a long time. It's boring. Create a variable name, my name, and assign John. It should be string, right? And yeah, don't make mistake like start the string with the capital S string string my that's so boring of background music from the vehicles outside use quotation GOHN quotation it's another time I shouted for the tree point something display the sum of 5 plus 10 using two variables x and y okay integer we took y equal 10 so x is 5 down integer a variable z assign x plus y so we are taking this value in z variable now we're going to print z so it will so it will show 5 plus 10 equal 15 and here according to this line condition fill in the missing parts to create three variables of the same type using a comma separated list What it says? It says print 
in the missing in the missing parts to create three variables of the same type using comma seven. It shows five plus ten five sorry x plus y plus z and so fill this it's integer value x equal five okay so here x is individual items why is individual items have six so just use a comma don't miss like here if you do this case okay where is that so let me go on if you use this then you have to identify why what is y is a uh, integer value or double or a string or what so all is integer and just use comma and done now in did we see it okay so a data types as explained in the variables chapter a variable is c sharp must be a specified data type example in my number five integer whole number floating point number we saw it before now it's come again character my letter d character boolean string so this chart is really important like how many items you can take like you can using like a number you are adding you're adding or subtracting or multiplying its integer value so how many what's the range of your integer size of four bits four bytes and it start from minus this number to this number let's see what if we take more items like integer a equal okay we can't use comma integer b equal to integer c equal a plus b console dot right line mm, total total okay give us this total c what will happen is the, is this the maximum range and we're adding two with this maximum range i don't think it will, it can shows us like four nine um it wasn't supposed to show the item like this right it's just missing what if we we just okay now it is in the range that is the highest in the last range of the number now it can make six four it will be able to make six four as i said six four and that was the maximum latest the last number but we are adding two with it but it doesn't have that much range of it that's why it shows an error mathematical uh, summation okay so four bytes and long long has eight bytes oh my goodness oh my goodness stores whole we should say entire instead of whole whole is like um whole is a different word whole is another different word we should say entire so stores entire numbers from these to this ah that's massive and float four bytes stores functional numbers sufficient for storing six to seven decimal digits double eight bytes stores functional numbers um, sufficient for storing 15 decimal digits boolean one bit store true or false okay character two bytes 
letter character surrounded by single condition okay number this not okay integer the int data type can store entire numbers from these to these in general and in a tutorial the integer data type is preferred data type when you create variables with a numeric value so let's wait for a while out okay so um in long we can see the long data type can store entire numbers from these to these this is used when integer is not large enough to store the value so when you are unable to use integer for any big amount of money you are calculating like in a bank or anywhere it doesn't it's the biggest number actually okay so you can use long instead of integer that's the thing they were talking about it's not necessary to mention that l l for long d we saw d d for a character i'm not sure no no not this one i, I, I made i missed uh, yeah d d for double right and here <coughs> we can see long is l for long is defined as a long okay, float so what do you have you should use a floating point type whenever you need a number with a decimal such as 9.99 or 3.14515 a value of pi the float and double data types can store functional numbers note that you should in the value with an f for floats and d for doubles and l for long capital l capital f and capital d capital float example float my number 5.75f console right line my name my num my name or my num okay then okay okay shows 5.7 don't think about it don't show the f as well because f is not a string here f is not a number here nothing it's mentioned it's defined if that is the float number what if we don't use d or f it does show the same nothing difference got it all right so use float double oh that's the thing the precision of floating point value indicates how many digits the value can have after the decimal point the precision of float is only six or seven decimal digits while double variables have a precision of about 15 digits like when you are calculating some items like a pi Pi shouldn't be a float number it should be a double number because after the point after the point you have a loss of number pi has almost hundred oh around a hundred number if you can see like pi value pi all values okay how long pi is as we learned only three point one for right let's see the value of pi logo okay oh my goodness one log digits in pi one four one five nine two nine six five three oh my goodness it can't even readable how can rememberable okay so down so pi should be double so we understand why where we should use float and where we should use double now we're going to the scientific number a floating point number can also be a scientific number with an e to indicate the power obtained so what it what it actually mean float f1 equal 3 5 35 
E means power. So power or power. Well, sometimes British accent is also weird. They say power. They don't say R, so it's power. And Americans say power. Okay. 35 power 3 five F. Okay, we have to print it. Let's see what we'll get. Oh, it shows nothing. 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 It shows zero, zero, zero of this value. So we defined, we, we kept the value in F1, we print F1, we print D1. I mean, we write booleans a boolean data type is declared with the bool keyword and can only take the values true or false bool is c sharp fun true bool is fish tasty yummy tasty false so output true outputs false Oh, is fish tasty? Mm, spicy. <laughs> okay, so we don't have any value named spicy. We only have true or false. I got the okay false. So we're done with this one. Boolean's values are mostly used for conditional testing, which you will learn more about in a later chapter. Characters. The character data type is used to store a single character. That the character must be surrounded by using codes like A or C. Let's see the time. Okay, I'll make it one hour and ten minutes probably character migrate v console right line okay string the string data type is used to store sequence of characters string values must be surrounded by double quotation quotes string greetings hello world now we are printing greetings it shows hello world as usual okay um this is important add the character add the correct data or data should be data add the correct data type for the following variables it's a integer value right integer my double name it's um, it shows double so it's not a float Is my spelling is okay? It's a character. C H A R. C H A R. It's a boolean. Bool. A string. Done. Create two boolean value. Sorry, variables. Name. Y L. Uh, oh. Okay. Go. Create two variables and I prefer values to them. Okay. Why I'm giving true? T R U A. You can see we can type four letters and here we have five letters. Okay. Go. And our name FLS false. Create a greeting variable and display the value of it. Create a greeting variable and display the name of it. A stream. How many times it took? Greetings. Red line. Um, greeting. I should type for a while. T 
to make sure my tapping is not going slow because I injured my finger and used a band as tap in my finger so I can't tie it very well that's it, let's see can get by um, look, you can practice your typing from this here this is the practice is for uh, make sure how fast you can type for the practice purpose I have a basic from the basic uh, website name is typingtest.com you can play even games think oh my goodness I'm just talking those many loading from oh, only 38 no it's supposed to be 50 you count. Let's go. Damn. Fifty-two. That's cool. Okay. So I've done all exercises. Last one. It says type casting using the correct conversion method to convert integer variable. Okay, we didn't see it yet. Like you're taking a number and convert it to a string. Okay, to a string. String. What is it? My integer. I think it should be uh, similar. Okay. Oh no, it's working. Okay. Okay. We'll come it like how it's a part of user input. But I don't know why the in data types that shows this one. So I've completed data types. Now um, typing cast. Okay. How many times? On three. Let's go faster. So typecasting, typecasting is when you assign a value, a value of one data type to another type. In C sharp, there are two types of casting, implicit, implicit casting automatically, converting a smaller type to a larger type size, character integer long floats, ex explicit casting manually converting a large type a larger type to a smaller type okay so what you can do implicit casting large casting is done automatically when passing a smaller size type to a larger size type so okay integer my type equal nine double my type integer automatic casting into a double okay so oh this thing how it's working in casting implicit okay so firstly we took a variable the type was integer so integer variable my name uh, integer value now we are going to convert the integer value to in double so we're taking type double variable name my double we're keeping this item here now nine is a value of my double and it's a double so my integer when you print my integer output is nine when you print uh, my double output is nine mm. alter 
okay so in double we can get output so taking only one value we can print twice that's the thing and explicit casting so how what is that oh, wow so firstly we took double so uh, I am 9.78 it can be float or double whatever now we're taking integer my integer so we are taking my double as a integer and we are initiating that it is an integer then we're printing my double so it will print my double equal up now that's it and integer so integer does it work after uh, the number is not show the point or after whatever in the point later so it only show us only nine mm, yeah what if, if we don't use it I'm not really sure okay manual casting double to integer maybe that's why let's see whether it works Oops, here so I have to mention that it's a integer we are making it integer so my double is going to be integer in these items then it will remove these in here that's the thing oh nothing more type conversion methods it is also possible to convert data types explicitly by using built-in methods such as convert dot to boolean convert to double so how we can convert this is most important this is most important like when you're taking value from the user user input so we have to convert the item to whether it is a boolean function it is a double it is a string it is integer so integer have 32 bit uh, 16 bit 64 bits so we will use 62 integer 64 is recognized as a long and 62 is 32 is recognized as an integer and here make sure v is b is capital b d is capital d string s is capital s integer i is capital i so my integer 20 my double my double 5.2 boolean my boolean true so you're converting all this oh my gosh okay the first line well, what you did convert to a string my integer so we convert it this integer to a string now it is basically now this 10 is all a string this not we can see the type i don't know how to see the type in python i can see like printing before printing what we can do in python like um, print then type then are uh, what we are printing like a variable we defined before so the variable is like total no like a uh, name we defined a name then done then it will show it will print us like uh, character type or something that is whether it is string or integer or value or boolean this thing is shows but i don't know how to do it in c sharp so we can't we can't see at the moment so now 10 is a string and this 10 is now a double this is a double now we are what you doing my double to convert it as a integer 32 integer so it will show five and boolean to string it was boolean bool boolean true now this true is actual actually a uh, convert string as you can see we typed a uh, small t now it shows capital t because it's convert to string that's why okay we're done with typing typecasting last tutorial of this oh it's for today uh, sound recording is quite okay if I make microphone closer okay so 
get user input, you have already learned the console write line is used to output print value. Now we'll print console read line to get user input how long it is. Okay, no more. So I can stop any. It's very soon. In the following example, the user can input his or her username which is stored in the variable username then we print the value of username so firstly okay so what we're doing type your username and press enter the console write your name so we are going to ask our user to type a name enter your name so he will enter his name as which is a string a string username console dot read line then here you can type then it will show username is username so let's do it in a blank code we don't need to follow their items we'll, we can do it by ourselves okay so firstly we're taking console dot right line Your name, entire, entire name, right? So we're tying something different. We don't use lines, so it will uh, will print here. I guess. Let's see. Console. Dot. Okay, we have to define our thing. str str i am a string we call string um name now name we call con okay console dot area the read line console dot right line your name is plus name we're done let's see Oh. It's not asking us nothing. We didn't make any mistake here. Let's see whether it oh it's asking. The host can also working in my in my code. String username. What was the mistake of down? S T R I N is a string. Is our name is okay? There are some problems. We can type here. That's it's not it can possible to ask in here. Let's do it in here. Oh Let's copy this. Making a multi line comment. Let's see. It takes time. Let's wait for it and go by another one so user input and numbers okay now it shows enter your name mm. okay
give enter your name is Javed so enter your name we didn't use right line so we can type here if we used right line then we had to type after this line here name then another line your name so we did it that's cool user input and numbers console read line methods returns a string therefore you cannot get information from another data type such as integer so all the time if we are not converting then okay all the item is basically if uh, uh, given taking from the user as a string so we're now taking integer as it will show error so what do we have to do convert to integer right let's take another item your name is now integer age let's type console dot right right line mm. in this site computer is not working well enter here h we better type it in notepad then we'll copy paste in here Yes, this not working very well. So after entering, we will going to um, age equal. First, we have to convert. So C is capital. Convert to dot T is capital to integer thirty two bits. It's not long. Um, then uh, parenthesis. Then console dot Red line. Red line. Ten. Then we are print. We have to print the console. Dot. Right line. your age is let's run it now we didn't use line so we have to enter our age in the next line. Let's see. Okay, we are done. Finally. Enter your name. Job. Your name job. Enter your age. 19? Your age is 19. Done. You can type. Program is done. Okay, it doesn't matter. So we're going to uh, cut it. And the last example for us: filling the missing i parts to get user input stored in the variable username. Mm. Console right line string. String username console dot. Oh. Next wishes. Think up a number. Did you have thirty bits? C 
so that's all for today so we didn't need to talk about this there are some problem problems for you if you want to do i'll give this in the description basically it's my lab i have to perform this in c sharp using c sharp so what's the difference like all these algorithm this function things what we can do execution all the things are same just the difference is taking the value from user and printing in a different way but the execution process is almost the same that's the thing and that's all for today hope you enjoyed this video and let's one more time then we'll stop the recording Oh.